Hey everyone, before we dive into our online world, let's hit the pause button for a sec. The internet is like a big city, full of surprises around every corner. But just like in a city, we need to watch where we're walking, right? So, here's a thought. Every time we're about to post or reply to someone, let's stop. Then, let's listen. Not with our ears, but with our hearts. What's the vibe of what we're about to say? Is it kind? Is it true? And think, imagine if what you're about to type was said about you. Would it make you smile or frown? The internet can be a place of light and shadows. Let's be the beacon that guides others to kindness. Remember, it's not just about not hurting others. It's about uplifting them, making their day a bit brighter. So, let's spread some joy, share a fun fact, or simply offer a word of encouragement. The world needs more of that, don't you think? Hello, my dear virtual congregation. Today, let's turn our hearts and minds to James 1.19, which reminds us, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. In the digital realm, where information zips by at lightning speed and where opinions are shared freely, it's easy to jump into conversations without truly understanding the context or the emotions behind a statement. Before we respond or react, let's remember the wisdom of James. Let's truly listen to what's being said, or in this case, typed. To listen is not merely to see the words, but to grasp the emotions and intent behind them. It's to empathize and understand. And when we do speak, let it be from a place of love and patience. In doing so, we'll find that our online dialogues become more fruitful, understanding, and representative of Christ's teachings.